um, the change in the deactivation policy is also quite significant because as things stand now, um, Uber drivers can be deactivated at will for whatever reason Uber wants and Uber doesn't have to give people an explanation. But under the terms of the settlement, that will change so that Uber can only de deactivate drivers if it has sufficient cause to do so. And sufficient cause is the kind of standard that you really don't see even with most employees unless they are unionized employees working under a collective bargaining agreement. You know, most employees in the world can be terminated by their employer for any reason or for no reason at all. If you are a member of a union and you're protected by a collective bargaining agreement, there's usually a provision saying you can't be fired unless it's for just cause and if you want to challenge your termination saying it was unjust, you can go before an arbitrator. So this agreement provides that kind of protection now for Uber drivers and that is this. If you are deactivated or you're threatened with deactivation, first of all, Uber has to tell you. For most deactivations, it has to give warning and a written explanation of why this action is being considered or is being taken. If you're not happy with that and you think that it's not for sufficient cause, um, first what you can do is you can take this to an appeals panel and Uber is going to set up these appeals panels of, um, of peers of other drivers, highly rated drivers, who will hear the appeals and make a decision. If you're not satisfied with the result of that appeals panel, then you can go to an arbitrator, a neutral arbitrator, that will be paid by Uber. And even that is, in a way, an improvement over even what unionized employees get. Because in the, in the collective bargaining, and, and I, I come from a labor firm, and so we represent labor unions as well as employees. In the, in the labor setting, um, typically there, um, there's a just cause standard um, and the union and the company splits the cost of arbitration, so the union doesn't get, isn't going to take every case to arbitration. But under this deal, Uber will pay the full cost of arbitration because these arbitrations are not cheap. These arbitrators cost thousands and thousands of dollars. They're basically like private judges. They're independent, so Uber is not controlling the process. They, ha they have independence, but they have to be paid. So Uber will pay. So if you're not satisfied with the result of the appeal panel, you can take your termination claim, your deactivation claim to a neutral arbitrator, and then Uber would have the burden to prove <clears throat> that it had sufficient cause to deactivate. So um, my, my inbox for the last three years has pretty much been filled with emails from Uber drivers. And I've been <clears throat> really in a constant dialogue with Uber drivers over these last three years about what issues have been concerning them. And I have to say that one of the top issues that I get emailed about is people who have been deactivated for either a reason they don't understand, they don't know what the reason is, or they don't think the reason is fair. Um, and so those drivers will now have a recourse and Uber won't be able to do that anymore. Um, the, the other thing that I hear from drivers every day about are issues related to their pay that they think that their pay wasn't calculated correctly, they think they missed a payment for certain rides, that they think they didn't get something. Um, and oftentimes what they'll do is they'll email Uber, and these emails will go to these CSRs, customer service representatives who have now been offshored. So they're, they're in a faraway land responding to these um, inquiries from Uber drivers. And, and, I, and, I, and I get constant emails from Uber drivers who who try to take their concerns to these CSRs and they feel like they fall on deaf ears and it goes nowhere and they can't get even simple pay disputes resolved. So under this agreement, Uber will set up a mechanism for escalating pay-related concerns with, within Uber. So that itself, I, I, my hope is, is that will create a mechanism to, um, to take care of another major concern that, that Uber drivers are faced with on a daily basis.